Time is fucking money. And a lot of y'all are wasting fucking time every single day. What do I mean by that? You still procrastinating. Bro, it is 2023 and it's been three weeks already to snap by just like that. And you still wasting fucking time. But you want all these things in life, but every single day, it's like you don't give a fuck about your life. You don't give a fuck about your life and you don't give a fuck about your time and your money. All that means is you don't care enough to make shit happen and you don't care enough about yourself to improve the situation you in, bro. Because if you did, you wouldn't be lazy. If you did, you would be motivated. And if you did, you would get the fuck up every day and being consistent with it. Not just one day, nigga. Not just one week. Every single day and doing this shit until it gets done. And even when it's done, you still fucking going. See, a lot of us can't do that shit. That's what I'm challenging you, bro, for 2023. Just doing it. Just go out and do the shit that you're supposed to do and do the shit that you want to do. Too many of us want to use these fucking bullshit ass excuses not to get shit done. You got all these goals, but you keep pushing them back. You keep pushing it back because you don't have a camera. You keep pushing it back because you don't have a gym to go to. You keep pushing it back because you don't have a car. I was talking to this motherfucker at work saying he want to be a bodybuilder. A fucking bodybuilder. He 18 years old. I, I chopped it up when I'm like, bro, did you go to the gym? Oh, man. Uh, my car, I don't have a car. Motherfucker, if you really wanted that shit bad enough, you would have walked your ass to that gym. Stop with the excuses and stop fucking procrastinating. That's what the fuck he told me. I said, bro, you just, just washing your, your dreams down the drain. And he saw, said, bro, I know, bro, when I really lock in, nigga, you should be locked in 24 seven. It's not just a switch. You turn the switch on, and that bitch stays on until you fucking die. You don't just get to turn it on and turn it off and turn it on and turn it off. That's not how this shit works, bro. Every single day, you need to work towards a goal. And all these small goals need to lead up to a bigger one. That's how you get this shit done. That's how you execute and you accomplish your goals in life. You don't just sit around talking about shit. Oh, I want to be a bodybuilder. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. What the fuck are you doing to get there? Just go out and do it. Why are you still making excuses and it's 2023? A lot of us about to be 18. A lot of us grown ass men watching my videos. So why are you still making excuses when you know what's on the other side of them excuses? You know what's on the other side of the, of the bullshit but you still want to be on this side. When in reality, you can be all the way right here. Think about the moment, bro, when you went hard as fucking life. Whether that was for a day, a week, shit, maybe even a month for some of y'all. And imagine if you stuck with it and you did that shit every single day with no breaks, no none of that shit, no stopping, none of that. Imagine where the fuck you would be at. A lot of us feel like we're putting in work. A lot of us think we're putting in work. Whenever you think or you feel like you're doing something or whatever, do fucking more. Go harder. You should never be fucking satisfied. My coach told me that man, man, my, in my seventh grade year of football. Never be fucking satisfied. So you, you feel like you can kick your fucking feet up. You can relax a little bit. You can take a couple of days off or whatever. It don't work like that, bro. Because if somebody out there, then you got two people. You got the person behind you trying to take your fucking spot. And then you got the person that's already in front of you, bro. And you in the fucking middle. So why do you feel like you deserve to take a break? 
It's niggas out here hungry for that shit. I might be one of them. Even if you are at the top and you feel like you got everything figured out, you need to go 10 times harder. Put your foot on the fucking gas and start speeding, nigga. When you about to break through a fucking wall and you see it starting to crack, you break that motherfucker open, bro. You don't go softer. You go even harder. So that's what you need to do in life, nigga. Stop getting comfortable with shit and go even harder. Niggas think they got it made. Niggas think they can kick their feet up. That is the exact moment in your life where you just gonna get snatched up by the fucking neck. And it's gonna humble the fuck out of you because it humbled me. You can never be comfortable and you have to be consistent every single day. That's how you're gonna get the results you want in life, bro. So stop with the excuses. Stop letting your feelings dictate your every single move. Because you're not a fucking female. You're not a bitch. You a grown ass man. So stop letting your feelings get in the way of your fucking success. You might be nervous. You might be afraid. You might feel whatever. But you keep fucking going. Man, I didn't tell y'all that shit. When I first started YouTube... My little brother, my blood brother, told me to delete all my fucking videos. Told me that shit. And that shit came from my blood brother. You, you think I deleted them videos, nigga? You think I stopped doing what the fuck I'm doing right now? Yeah, that shit hurt when he told me that shit. But look where I'm at right now. I didn't let my feelings dictate my move. If anything, you use that shit as fuel and you keep fucking going. You keep fucking grinding. So if you want to start a YouTube, you do that shit. If you want to get into the gym, you do that shit. Whatever you want to do in 2023, you do it and you fuck your feelings and you fuck everybody else's. That is the only way you are going to get results in this new year.